From the street, few could guess what's inside this NASA building has saved thousands, maybe millions of lives over the past 50 years. It started in 1960 with an airplane model, a tunnel, some wind, and very smart engineers from NASA and industry. These airplanes, there were three of them that had crashed, Lockheed, Electris, and uh, there was a, it was unknown what caused these crashes. By fortunate circumstances, Lockheed had a model of that, a flutter model, and at that time the transonic dynamics tunnel was just beginning to accept tests. So, uh, as a result of that, they discovered what the problem was. Uh, corrections were made in the engine mount system, and from that, that point on, the airplane was safe. The Transonic Dynamics Tunnel, or TDT, has contributed to the safety and development of a variety of aerospace vehicles and structures, from planes, to rockets and spaceships, to parachutes. Hundreds of people came to NASA's Langley Research Center in Hampton, Virginia, to celebrate the TDT's half-century of accomplishments. When we look at the TDT, we see Among them, the NASA Associate Administrator for Mission Support, who started his career as a researcher at the tunnel. I just uh, really enjoyed going in and watching the tests as they were being conducted, working with the people, and really the opportunity to have the, the best facilities and, uh, in the world, and, and then working with the people who were leaders in the field that I worked in. The TDT still takes a leading role in aerospace research, whether it's for a rocket that might lift off from Earth, a design for an unmanned aerial vehicle, or a model of an inflatable that someday might help a vehicle land on another planet.